it has been estimated that 12,500 girls and young women are closely involved in gangs in the UK. They are more likely to become involved in criminal activity. Age group 10 to 15, more girls than boys in gangs in the UK. I realised that I had to leave the gang after the third time I got stabbed. I thought that being in a gang would make me feel stronger. I met somebody who was in a gang and they introduced me to more people. I had to do favours for them. Terrible things, you may say. Hold guns. Hold knives. Guns that are used to murder people. Knives that are used to stab people. Hold drugs. Beat people up. Some girls get lucky to burst at someone. To actually hold a strap. That's what they call it. And shoot someone. Most days you get asked to do things to prove your loyalty to see how bad you can finish someone. You approach them, the second you catch them off guard, you start to bang them up proper. If they resist, you floor them. You have to show the gang that you can stamp anyone up for fun. Then you take their shit, Warn them, then dash. Sometimes, family members get stuck in the middle. It could be that you're in a gang and your brother is involved with a girl from another gang. Things can get sticky. They could grab you, dash you in a boot of a car, drive you somewhere and psychologically break you down. And they just leave you there, cold, naked, and with nothing. It's mainly sexual things when it comes to girls. Every girl wants to be in with someone, so they're willing to do certain things. It's normal, you know what I mean? Girls are often used to sleep with 10-year-old boys to induct them into gangs. Sexual exploitation can have a long-term effect from an early age. Can you hold this for me then? They, they gave me a uh, Benz, which is the smallest amount of um, weed you can hold. And then they're like, can you give it to my friend, yeah? Which I didn't know was the leader of the gang. I'm like, yeah, cool. And then after, I gave it to him. And, he, and then she was like, um, yeah, I did this to test to see if he was a loyal friend. Or to, to, so do you want to be a part of this? Um, gang that we're in. What did, she didn't say gang. I didn't know it was a gang until like weeks of, until I was in. There will always be like one room but they'll just have sex in, in there all the time and like it would be for hours. Yeah like it wasn't it wasn't really forced but like it depends on how they feel. Like sometimes they'll be like oh, I don't want to do this but I'm going to have to do this anyways as a test just so I could keep myself safe. gangs they will say they back you but they don't actually back you like they all everyone's in it for themselves they they don't give a damn about um, slice me in my arm with with a knife
selling drugs. Say someone that shot is giving another girl less food than she's supposed to get, that becomes a problem. Then you become someone that's on the list. The hit list. experience because I was in a cell. I was thinking like, what's my first time in the cell gonna be like? I didn't know what to think. You're really isolated. No one's really there. These days when you call someone cuffed, you think of a relationship with them being in love But what if they were stuck or trapped? What if I told you one wanted four girls in a gang? Peer pressure by the older man them to hold drugs Have sex working for him, doing nothing in tandem If she threatens to leave, she's getting threatened by a knife For her life, so she carries on, but she knows it ain't right The man them say it's all about loyalty but all they care about is paying off their lawyer fees And they see the young girls as a way through But it's a suicide mission with no escape route They know police ain't searching their private parts So that's where the high drugs when flashing lights go past This is the honest truth about some sad realities This shouldn't be so casual when it's causing so many casualties <laughs> 